Siti Lama and you're watching Vision of Asia. This week we are presenting various highlights from the recently held 36th Annual Convention and Scientific Assembly of the American Associations of Physician of Indian Origin, API. Hosted in Columbus, Ohio, the events of the four-day convention brought together professionals from the field, political personalities, Bollywood celebrities, community leaders, and much more to engage in dialogues and activities to bring forth stronger perspectives and goals for the South Asian medical health professionals in the U.S. The convention incorporated a fashion show, performance by Mystic India Dance Troupe, continuing medical educational seminars, a beauty pageant, children and youth activities, medical school alumni meetings, speeches, and much more. API, which represents the interests of over 100,000 physicians of Indian origin, is amongst the largest ethnic organizations of physicians in this country. Let's take a look at this segment for tonight featuring API's outgoing president along with Indian American Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy and more dignitaries. Thank you ITV, especially Dr. Sudhir Parikh who has been a very prominent API member. They are very, very grateful to cover this event. This has been a long-term uh, uh, you know, relationship. They have been a very, uh, uh, very uh, cooperative. They have covered our events and I want to thank ITV for a long-term relationship with API. Thank you, ITV. So I just gave a talk on uh, fatty liver disease. Uh, that is a um, kind of a growing problem in the uh, United States and Indi in India and in indeed around the world. So um, I just was trying to uh, raise awareness of it, um, discuss ways to uh, diagnose and to treat it. Yeah, no, I think it was uh, well received because it's a common problem. I think uh, a lot of doctors see this in their practice. Uh, and it, can be a difficult condition to deal with. Well, this is it's amazing. Uh, I learned from Dr. Madia earlier that uh, one in every six uh, patients treated is treated by uh, an Indian doctor, an Indian American doctor, which is just amazing, the impact you are having on health here in the United States. So it's, it's great to be here today. Well, first of all, thank you so much, ITV, for having me on. Um, you know, U.S.-India relations are strong and they're growing stronger and we have to do everything we can to continue to allow these relations to flourish. Um, fortunately, they've really uh, grown and developed despite uh, uh, partisan differences on Capitol Hill. I think it transcends politics. And so that's a really, really important uh, achievement for all of us. Secondly, I'm so honored to be here at API. You know, API in less than 40 years has uh, grown to represent the interests of 80,000 Indian American physicians who represent 10% of all physicians and who provide service to millions and millions of patients. A lot of the physicians are my colleagues and you know, API is such a respected organization taking care of the health of America. So today I'll be talking about, you know, what can we do with organizational health? So we often talk about doctors and we're giving pills and giving prescriptions, but how can we go inside of ourselves and really use all the tools that we already have to be able to fight the health crisis in America and the world. We worked very hard in raising our unified voice on the corridors of the power in Washington, D.C. The presence of dozens of congressmen was a testament to the recognition of our importance and to the fact that our voices are well heard on the Capitol Hill. You have so much coming at you all the time, and conventions like this are important to keep you abreast of the latest developments. But what is going to disrupt now, you more now is right there, it's the elephant in the room, and that is artificial intelligence. Healthcare, not just in India, but pretty much the world over, is riddled with inefficiencies and it's easy to complain about them. However, we are poised for change, and technology has the potential to bridge the chasm between quality care and the many that need it but currently cannot access or afford that. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I have uh, been an Army Patron member for more than 20 years, have been uh, silently uh, serving all these years, and uh, it's very nice to also get recognized by this uh, esteemed uh, uh, August body. Here we are on our 36th annual convention, which is in Columbus, Ohio. It has been absolutely amazing from the moment we got here. From a great continuing medical education lectures, which are called CMEs, approximately 65 of different types of them, covering right from cardiology, heart-related issues, to gastroenterology, to infectious diseases.
Yeah.